Hello and welcome to episode 14 of my Rising World tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making a block bench and then some blocks. So let's first show you. My crops are all starting to ripen now. So it means I'm going to have a ton of food and even my fruit trees are also in are starting to bear fruit. So that's very cool because as we know with the apple trees, apples will heal me um, if I get harmed by polar bears which I'm going to go looking for. Oh, I need to chop these down, I thought these were fruit, no these are lemon trees I think so I'm still waiting for them. But I shall live off of my tomatoes for now and apples I shall keep for healing. Notice with the tomatoes when you harvest them they stay planted. And that, my friends, is why I enjoy eating the tomatoes. Strawberries are the same. Once planted, they will just keep replenishing, which is very, very cool. You'll see, I'll have a ton of tomatoes to eat now. And it's a good job, because in order to do this block bench, I had to get lots of uh, materials to use with it as you're going to see and when you use your pickaxe because the pickaxe is the tool you have to use if you want to get things like sand, dirt, stone, mud if you want to get the resources into your pocket you have to use the pickaxe uh, to mine them but mining of course uses a lot of food so you will get hungry a lot so I recommend you have a full tomato farm up and running before you start mining in earnest. Um, because when with the block bench you'll make blocks so you can build yourself a house. But it's going to use a lot of materials. Anyway, let's make ourselves a block bench. How much food did I get? Check that out. Yeah, I'm not going hungry anytime soon. That's all my tomatoes. And, oh, I better make space in my pocket. If we have a quick look, you'll see I'm getting lots of tomatoes. So that is very, very good. I'm going to store the apples because I want to keep them in case I do fighting later on. And what I'll do is I'll keep two stacks of tomatoes on me. Okay, so we're going to need lots and lots of materials for the block bench because it's going to use lots. So we're going to go to the workbench first of all, go to the drop down arrow and have a look at what we need to make the block bench and it's under crafting stations. There's our block bench. Block bench needed to craft blocks cunningly enough. Okay, we're going to need 48 lumber. So if we go back around here to this chest you can see that I've been making lumber already so that's cool we can use that now notice as well my trees that I've been planting are starting to uh, get fully grown so I'll be able to re chop them down I've been planting more and I've been having a lot of fun with my rake what can I say I've just went crazy with it. I've, I'm going to end up flattening the whole of this side of the world I think. Alright, anyway, let's do the block bench and let's put it here opposite the saw bench. Why? Because the saw bench gives you timber, planks and beams. You can either build your base out of wood using the uh, saw bench or you can build it out of a, an assortment of materials. Um, so anyway, what am I doing? Let's go back to the workbench and make ourselves a block bench. So there we go, let's craft that. There we go, this is now going to open up a whole world ton of fun for us. So I'm going to put it opposite that. I'm trying to keep all my structures spaced apart. I don't want things getting too crowded. So let's put it there and put the block bench just there, I think. I'm hoping there's enough room for me to walk walk between the so oh yeah there's plenty of room okay so let's check out the block bench and what it will do for us okay so in the block bench is where you can make blocks what you can do as well remember these arrows either side denote that you can change the shape so let's have a look 
So there's a half block. There's um, a column block. So if you want to build yourself an ancient Roman or Greek uh, uh, settlement, you can. And remember, that's just stone. Check this out. Look at all these different materials you can build in. I mean, is that not awesome for you bet ba people who like building bases? This is the game for you. So anyway, let's carry on with the stone. So there's a half column block. There's a ramp. There's... I'd have said that's a skateboarder's ramp, but anyway, I don't think you can make a skateboard in this. But anyway, so yeah. There's steps, so... That is my favourite because obviously the functionality of that is fantastic. I can make myself stairs using steps or you can make ladders on the saw bench. It's entirely up to you. But look at this. I mean, look, that's even fine crafted. See, that removes... I think I prefer that one, really. But yeah, so you get the picture. Not only can you make different types of stairs... Um, different types of blocks even each type of block you can differentiate with like the steps as you can see are all different types how cool is that and that's I don't know that's like if you want to make a pyramid it's just look at there's just so many anyway I'm gonna stick with the block for now and I'm gonna work with what am I gonna work with where is it Oh, don't tell me I can't use dirt. I've got a load of dirt, and I want to use that. Cobblestone, loam, marble, wood blocks, wood planks. See, I haven't found any of them other materials yet. Oh, look at this. How cool is that? <laughs> But it's all wants to use stone, and I've been gathering dirt. I was hoping. Look at this. This is just like awesome. Come on, I mean, look at this. What, when was the last time you see a game which gave you this much? It's like I said earlier, previously in the first episode, I think. What it's give what it don't it don't have a ton of content rising well, but what it does have, it's nailed. I mean, that just looks awesome. All these different types of patterns love it okay but what I'd really love is if I could make it out of dirt I'm sure I could before oh well I must have got it wrong so I've been mining a load of dirt oh here we are I was just about to give up under natural as you can see I've been mining a load of dirt and let's show you shall I where we got this dirt from so Oh, it's night time, let's have a sleep. Remember, always sleep when you can, because your crops will grow, and your trees. And plus, you'll be able to see if I sleep. Right, okay, back to the block bench. So, I've got a ton of dirt, so I want to use it. And, you know, you can even make blocks out of blades of grass. And you can make more stone Gravel we're going to take a look at, because we're going to make a grindstone. Look at that. Dirt. And a hoe. How weird. So you can, you use a hoe with dirt to craft that block. I'm not going to do that, because I don't want to waste my hoe. You can do sand. Well, the one that I want is this. Okay, so let's go to Max Craft. Max, I'm just, I'm, you know what, I'm just going to do as many as I can. You'll see why. Right, okay, so we've made a load of blocks. Now, what I would actually advise is taking your block bench with you, especially when you're adventuring. Um, Llewellyn made a really nice comment. He said about the fact that, you know I was saying to remove the grass so you can see waypoints of where your land is, and he mentioned about doing columns and different types of columns denoting different points of interest so let's show you where I got all this dirt from to make my block bench let's have a drink first of all okay over here past my fruit trees you can see an ominous cave and this is of 
my design. This is what where I got all that dirt from. I thought, well, look at that hill. Wouldn't it be easier just to walk through it rather than over it? So <clears throat> let's turn the light on and take a stroll through my cave. I love this. I told you at the beginning, I love the terraforming and I love the mining. You can create all sorts of wonderful custom caves. But not only that, if you come to a really steep mountain, you can do a, mount a cave through it. <clears throat> of course, it's not that flat and straight, but then you wouldn't really expect that from me. A cave will suffice. So we go all the way through here. And out the other side. <clears throat> and there we are. Now, though, the thing is, if I go wandering over here, which I will want to do because I want to check that out. <clears throat> remember, I'm still looking for the the uh, dungeons. I haven't found one yet, but I will eventually. But I don't want to lose my cave, do I? So let's put these blocks to good use. And just like Llewellyn said, what you can do is build structures, and that's the best way to mark a location. So let's get the, let's turn the light off. I think that's why I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, let's put a block there. So you, you see, you get this ghost outline of where you're going to place the block. And that's as easy as that. You just right click on it. I mean, that is club fantastic. Because look how simple it is. Look how simple. So what I'm doing is I'm building a column. High as I can. What I could even do now is put that there. And like so. Then I can jump on here, jump on here and make it go a bit higher. And what I can do then is perhaps take it over this way. And this shows me the entrance to my cave. Now, trust me when I tell you, I could just go overboard with this and just build a massive structure so it, so it looks like a really nice entrance to my cave. And I might do that when I find marble. But for now... Oh, I don't want to block my cave. <clears throat> For now, that will do as a marker. So now I could risk going over there. But I don't want to do that. What I want to do now is head back and let's build a house. <clears throat> so you do your caves, which is wonderful, and that gets you all your materials for building yourself a nice house. Or materials for placing down columns like that to mark locations in the world. Remember you have no map so you need to be creative and create your own map in markers on the world just like that uh, what I did back there. Hmm, surely I could make this a bit better couldn't I? Will that come down? No, let's mine it then. Oh, something else I didn't show you as well. Um, when you mine up dirt, <clears throat> so you see I've got some all mud I can use, I believe. So when you get dirt or mud, what you can actually do is use that to fill holes in. You see that red, red uh, box outline? Watch what happens to this hole with this mud. You see you can fill the ground in, you can fill holes in. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. How cool is that? Because then you can get your rake and smooth it out. Isn't that beautiful? So you can make a really cool cave. I mean, perfectly flat if you wanted to take the time. So you can use your mud for smoothing out the floor. I think that's amazing. Anyway, let's go build a house. Not that I need a house, but you know, what's the point in building a block bench if the gangster isn't going to show you building a house with it? And you're going to see why I made all of them blocks, because you need a ton of blocks. Uh, I don't really need the house over there, so I could build it over here, I guess. Right, okay, so let's switch to my blocks. Oh, I need to put them back. And 
let's first flatten this ground. Oh, look at that. There's the timer. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm out of time with this. I've made the block bench. I've made some blocks. And I'd like to make a house, but I don't know how long. It's going to take me a while, you see. So I'll prepare the ground here. I'm going to flatten it out a bit. And we'll make a house in the next episode. But bear in mind, it's going to be a mud brick house, okay? It's going to be made of mud. You're not going to get anything lavish from me. Well, for goodness sake, I haven't even found any marble yet or anything nice to build out of. So make do with mud, will ya? I mean, there's enough people in this world, I believe, that still have to live in mud huts. So I'll be one of them. And I think that's good. So, okay, I'll end this episode here. We've made a load of blocks, as you can see. And in the next episode, we're going to put these to good use. I'm going to show you how we can slap together block a, a, a mud block house. Wherever you are in the world, <clears throat> God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.